Okay, so this question is um, an oxime being treated with an acid, and what it's looking for is first and foremost, first and foremost, can you spot that these are the conditions, and this is the substrate for a Beckman rearrangement? Okay, so Beckman rearrangement, we're going to get migration of a group um, attached to this oxime across to the nitrogen and then goes through a, a few um, proton transfers to automerism to get to an amide. Okay, so to get the product of this reaction, we don't need to go through the whole mechanism. If you can remember uh, the overall transformation of a Beckman, we're going to get migration of one of these groups to the nitrogen. If I look at the red uh, group there, we're going to have the nitrogen now attached to a benzene ring and, and a Beckman rearrangement will give you an amide. So we're going to have a um, phenyl group, nitrogen, and then that's going to be attached to a carbonyl and then whatever's uh, left over will be attached to that uh, carbonyl. So this group um, this isopropyl group is attached there. So that will be the product if the red circle group migrates. The other possibility is the uh, isopropyl group migrates to the nitrogen. Okay, and that product will be that the ketone carbonyl is attached to the benzene ring, and then the amide nitrogen is there like that, and the isopropyl group has migrated to that nitrogen. Now that doesn't occur, and this is the last little wrinkle in this question, is spotting which one of those two groups will migrate. The Beckman rearrangements are a bit different. I think many students get confused between this and carbocation rearrangements, or the bayer villiger oxidation. Those are all about the migratory aptitude of the group that migrates, and that's related to carbocation stability and so on. In the Beckman rearrangement, the group that migrates is the one that is opposite to the leaving group. So the leaving group in this case is the um, OH group here, which gets protonated and turned into OH2 water, which is a great leaving group. So it has to be the group that is opposite to that that migrates. So this is the migration that occurs, and so that's the correct answer for this question. So we won't go through the mechanism behind this particular one, we can draw it out if we wanted to, but to get to the, the answer to this question you just need to know how to draw one of those groups migrating to the nitrogen, draw out the amide that would be formed, and then make sure that it's the group that is opposite to the leaving group, in this case the OH, and that will give us the um, correct answer. Okay, so hopefully that cleared up uh, how to answer this question about Beckman rearrangement. For full marks, you want to have uh, this compound here as your answer. For part marks, most uh, examiners will give you part marks if you get this compound, but probably only about half because you're showing migration to give an amide through a Beckman-like rearrangement, but you haven't spotted that it's the group opposite to the leaving group that is the group that migrates. Okay, that's it for this question.